of the place strong community the sushi eaters in Toronto. I'd like to try that. Sorry. <laughs> I understand Phil and Emily went through all this. <laughs> I just wondered if uh, Daisy's bags, you know how she put all the pictures, or no, it wasn't Daisy, it was the girl before Daisy, put all the, when she brought you and she brought all the right. things in bags. Do you, did you find like afterwards that you were like talking to people like or you know shopping and stuff wondering like which bag they would go in or did that make <laughs> any impa impact on you at all? No, I didn't, that didn't even occur to me. I didn't even think about that. Well, how much impact do you as, a, as an actor and the writer have on what happens with the character in the show? Is it your script do it? Oh, or a lot. They, I mean, you know, in process? terms of writing, um, I would give them my ideas and my feedback and certain things that I liked and I didn't like or that I thought needed to be done. Um, and, you know, if they wouldn't change them, then I'd just do them. <laughs> you know, and then if they liked it, they could use it. I would usually, if there was something I thought should be done, I would do it my way and do it their way, and then they could choose, you know. How often did they choose their way? Not that often, believe it or not. They really did go for usually what, what I thought was right. And I guess because when you're looking at it through an actor's eyes, if you take their judgment, it'll go better with the character. If well, they have good judgment. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you sort of get a feel for your own character, though. You're, you're sort of, well, you're in the skin. Right, right. Yeah. Was there anything from the show that you get to take home? Oh, yeah. That, uh, oh, I took a lot of clothes. I took some props home. I <laughs> took the what? The squeegee. No, that didn't save. I'm trying to think what else. Toilet seat? No, no toilet seat. No, didn't want the frog. He can stay. Well, speaking of people, Gravelings, I'm thinking about the Graveling that came out of the dead guy and then George's character touched it and then it went away and what were Gravelings? Wait, um, uh, what were they? Or what, what was your take as an actor who had to deal with the Gravelings aside from the special effects? What were they to you? They were um, the creatures which came to make the accidents happen. And they were basically my guide to where I needed to be in order to take the soul of the person. Do you think that George had a unique ability to see them that the other Reapers didn't? Or? She did initially, and then that gradually changed into all the Reapers could see them. Frogs did you go through? Three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was funny actually. We have on the gag reel um, in one of the scenes, the scenes where Roxy's dressing me up, and you know, Callum makes the remark about, I don't understand what getting into a rock concert has to do with her getting all dolled up. And the frog at that point, when I picked him up, went. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine and Callum screamed and jumped out of the room. I was standing there. Like, it didn't faze me because I was so used to the nasty thing, you know, that I'm afraid of it at all, and they just flipped out. <laughs> Did you have an affinity for wildlife and stuff growing up? Did you oh, yeah, I've always loved it. Mm -hmm. Usually mammals, though. I mean, I never got into the whole reptile thing. No. No. <laughs> Freddie Spears. <laughs> 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 <laughs>